Hey guys, it's Mild with another stamp video, and today um, I'm going to show you guys what I will be sending back my buddy Graham Curtis. He sent me a grab bag, um, and these stamps in front of you are what I will be sending back to him. For those of you who are new to the channel, um, I do this thing as a grab bag exchange. You send me a grab bag of random stamps. Um, you send me a letter with your address inside and you tell me what stamps you want back. Um, the previous video um, that I uploaded before this one, um, my buddy Graham Curtis, like I said, sent me some stamps and he said in his letter, um, I collect stamps from the British Commonwealth and the USA, so any stamps in these areas will be of interest to me in return. Um, so awesome. Um, so of course I'm sitting here thinking he's from the UK, um, so U.S. stamps are probably a little harder for him to come by. Um, so I got a few piles right here. I do want to show you some of the stamps that I really enjoyed um, that he sent me, um, just so you guys can see them. Um, this stamp from Malta, self-government 1947. I'll just put these up here in the corner. This stamp from Aiden. Yeah, victory issue. So after World War II. And this Belgium stamp with a T over it, which I believe um, someone commented down below. It stands for tax, um, I think. So thank you so much for helping me out with those stamps, help identify them. Um, yeah, and without further ado, we'll get into it. So um, I basically have two piles here. These are, I would say, older stamps. And these are all mint. Um, a lot of them have the number on the side here, and they are from the 1940s and 50s, so probably mid to late 40s, um, up until the mid 50s. Um, all mint though, so they do have some value there, but I will show you guys um, all of these stamps on the right, because these are older ones, and then I will show you most of these, um, but I want to go through all of them, because I think there's around 100 or 125 here. So there are some duplicates, but we'll, we'll get into that. Um, so yeah, so we'll get going. So a nice airmail, nice mint. Centering's not perfect, but still okay. Washington. Um, yeah guys, Graham Curtis sent me a really good grab bag, so I want to send him a good one back. So again, these are the ones that are a little older. Um, as you can see, this has a... What's that over right there? Perfins, that's what they're called. Sorry, it took me a second to f remember what they're called. I'm yeah, just going to go through these older ones. Nice coil. Looks like we got a few of these guys here, yeah. So there's those. There's one more right here with some perfins. And one more right here. Harding. So these are from the 20s. These stamps right here, 1920s. Um, and as you guys know, I like to send you a stamp with uh, Chicago, Illinois um, over the front of it because that's where I'm from. Or I should say that's where I'm currently living. Here's another. This, this is a really clean coil. I don't know what perforation it is, um, but these are all duplicates. Uh, most of my collection from the pretty much from the definitives which are the Washington and Franklin issues that look all the same but are different in perforations and um, watermarks. Um, I have most of those complete. And then of course these are way easier to come by here in the United States. Give him some air mails. Get him an older one of those. Whoops. And last but not least, I also wanted to include this one. Um, super clear Chicago, Illinois Right there. All right, so now we have all of these stamps right here um, I'll go through probably for five minutes and I'll show you there are some duplicates and stuff But I'm not gonna go through every single one of these stamps. There's just too many um, But they're all looking like this They're all mint That one we just saw they're all in really really good shape Check this one out centering is perfect 
mint, nothing wrong with this one. Um, and like I said, there are some duplicates, but um, if anything, Graham, you can just, you know, give them to your friends, maybe resell them if you would like in a batch. Um, it's up to you. We'll pull down there. Um, but yeah, um, I hope this can help your U.S. collection. Um, I was look, I was trying to get you some mint um, stamps, so hopefully this can fill up most of your 1940 and early 50s um, U.S. commemorative collection um, with these mint stamps. And there you go, that one says 1958. Keep going. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to do a grab bag, send me one, send me a letter. Um, let me know what you want in return, and I'll, I'll do my best to fulfill that request. Clean mint right here. As you guys can see, these are all mint. None of these in this pile right here are canceled. Let me get them off that here. Um, if you would like certain particular stamps... Um, that are mint from the 40s and 50s. I can do my best to find them. Um, of course, I do not have an endless supply of stamps like that, but I can, like I said, I will do my best to find those stamps and give them to you guys. These all look the same to me. Yeah. You can see those. Um, also, guys, just so you know, we are doing a competition. I'll send. I'll put the link of the video that I'm talking about down below. Um, <coughs> excuse me, but we're doing this competition where if I get 500 subscribers, I'm giving away a Colombian one dollar stamp. If I get a thousand subscribers, I will also be giving away a Scott number one um, stamp. So if you want to go check that video out, it'll be the link in the description down below. Um, I'll tell you how to enter the competition and when it ends and everything. So go check that out if you guys want to. It's a pretty clean stamp right here. Look at that guy. 1938. So we got some 30s in here too, which is good. 1947. Again, the centering is almost perfect. A little off center, maybe a little bit. Hawaii. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll pick them up so you can see. There's this many more. Uh, and then, of course, I couldn't pick them all up that are mint. Um, I'll go through a few more, um, but I don't want to bore y'all just going through all these mint stamps that Graham Curtis will receive. I'll try to find a few that you haven't seen. See now, like I said, look at all these duplicates right here. Most of these are duplicates, but like I said, Graham, you can just take them, do whatever you want with them, put them in another grab bag for your friends. But this should be a pretty good time for you just going through these and organizing them, hopefully adding to, like I said, I, I'm hoping this can help complete um, some of your U.S. stamp collection needs. Um, and then being mint, of course, is a plus. I'm just trying to work my way through this. Whoop. Just trying to give you all an overview. What is that one? Yeah, it's a clean one too. But yeah, guys, these are all going to Graham Curtis. They're all his. He can do whatever he wants with them. Um, they're his to give away. Love this stamp. Iwo Jima, World War II, Pacific Theater. Our boys raising the flag on top of Mount Suribachi. All right, guys. Well, um, I hope that was enjoyable for you guys. I know I kind of rushed through the end there, but um, I didn't want to bore y'all just showing you guys every single one of those mint stamps because there's a hundred and something of them. So, but yeah, Graham Curtis, thank you so much for your grab bag. Um, if you guys see any stamps that were super valuable, stamps you want, comment down below. Check out my other videos if you want to. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys commenting on my videos, really helping me out. Um, but yeah, uh, it's really fun for me. Love the stamp community on YouTube. Um, enough rambling. Thanks for watching my videos. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you later.